Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I have face cam on and that is because today I'm going to be exploring what could quite possibly be the best website in the world. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, it probably won't. It's got the worst mascot it, it possibly could. But let's take a look at this website. It is jolianpalmer.com. I, I don't know what to say. I mean... If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know I have a genuine hatred for this guy. I mean, just, just look at that face. Look at it. How can you not hate that face? So yeah, in this video, we're just going to be having a look through this website and seeing what it has to offer, I'm sure. I'm sure it's got more to offer than Jolie and Palmer, so let's jump straight on into this. So where do we start? Obviously on the homepage. Uh, is this the homepage? Oh, shit. Is this the homepage? Yes, it is. That's, that, that's, that's it. You scroll down, it's got... Okay, lagging already. A website is lagging. Great. I mean, it's, it just seems to be a lot of pictures of uh, Julian Palmer, which no one wants to see. Let's go for. I don't know. Let's go. Let's have a look at his bio. Let's see. Oh, he's got merchandise. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Let's have a quick read of his bio, shall we? 26 years old, Julian Palmer is one of the only two Britons on the Formula One grid in 2017. I'll have you know that is wrong because uh, in Monaco there are three drivers on the grid so I mean we're already off to a good start and he will once again race for Renault Sport F1 team in 2017. Probably not 2018 though. Jolien retained his drive with the French squad following an impressive rookie campaign. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Jolien claimed the GP2 title in a dominant fashion. I can't see that. I mean I watched part of 2014 season GP2 and I... I d it just doesn't sound right does it? Breaking the record for the most points scored in a season. Well, he's doing the complete opposite this time round, isn't he? Oh, let's have a look at this. He's got a quote from him. I'm over the moon to be racing with Renault Sport Formula 1 team for a second season, probably because you didn't think it was going to happen the first time. And I can't wait to reward the team's faith in me on track. <coughs> for me, it's been a steep learning curve driving in Formula 1. And I know that I am performing better than ever. Let's just let that sink in for a second, shall we? So in his words, he is driving better than ever, which means not scoring a single point while Nico Hulkenberg, his teammate in exactly the same car, sits on, I don't even know how many points he's on. How many points is he on? Let's have a look. I, th I feel like it's 18. My prediction's 18. Oh, I got it right. It's 18. So, so just to continue my point, he says he's performing better than ever, which means scoring zero points compared to his teammates, 18. You're a fucking idiot. And just after the comma, and there is still more to come. And I'm sure Renault are hoping that is true. Oh, we've got some Jolien stats here. Date of birth, the 20th of January, 1991. He's 26 years old from the UK, and he's six foot. I don't care about any of this stuff. Interest in football and tennis, but not Formula One. Kind of missing something there, aren't you, Jolien? Sporting idols, Roger Federer and Usain Bolt. Still, I mean, Usain Bolt is neither a footballer nor a tennis player. And there's no F1 people there, so once again, fantastic job, Jolien. Favourite circuits being Brands Hatch, Monza and Monaco. Although I'll be honest, I'm very pissed off that we shared the same favourite track. That, that really upsets me, I may have to change it. And his favourite colour is blue. Well, he's been showed the blue flags numerous times this season, so I don't expect any reason why it wouldn't be anything else. Career history, oh, this would be fucking good. Jolien enjoyed an impressive debut season. No, he didn't. Oh my fucking god. What is that haircut? What is that? Well, that's a sight I thought I'd never see. Geraldine Palmer at the top step of the podium. There is so much wrong with this picture. Okay, so we've had a look at his bio. Let's have a look at the merchandise. I'm excited to see this. I'd also love to know how many people have actually bought this. Wow. You know you're unpopular when you have to model your own clothes on your own website. I'm guessing this picture was taken the moment he was told that he, he's not driving in 2018. You can see he's contemplating death in this picture. I mean, look at his face. That's, that's a man who wants to kill himself. So this is 50% off. Why would you, like even, it, it's half price. Why the fuck would you pay 15 quid for something of Jolien Palmer's name on it? I mean, that's just a bit shit, isn't it? That, that really is. I can honestly say I would not pay 25 quid for that or that. I wouldn't pay 15 quid. I, you know, you know what, I wouldn't pay five quid for that, let alone 15. That's half price. And I most certainly wouldn't pay 40 quid for that. Moving on to the JP30 gallery. This is going to be fucking amazing. You're not starting off strong, just a picture of him. No one wants to see that. Let's have a look at the Canadian Grand Prix from Julian Palmer's point of view, shall we? Pointless picture. He just looks incredibly puzzled in that one. 
A picture of Alonso, not even him. That's actually not a bad picture, if only it was Hulkenberg driving and not him. His helmet kind of ruins it. And I don't think this photographer realised there was a bit of grass stuck in the lens when he took the picture, but... Moving on. You know, I can't even lie, that's actually a pretty cool picture. What is the most viewed picture on this website? I'm, I'm very curious. Okay, so... This is the most viewed picture on this website. A picture that you can barely see the car, let alone him, is the most viewed picture on this website. Okay, let's have a look in the news. What's going on with Julian Palmer? Is he getting kicked from Renault yet? Most likely. We finished P11 again today. Two races in a row within touching distance of the points while your teammate was actually sat in the points. I think the pace was a bit better and if I could have started a couple places higher, we could have gotten into the points. The reason he couldn't get a couple places higher is because he's not quick enough to get a couple places higher. So, it's kind of a vicious circle there. Contact Julian. Is there a way to contact him? I could email him. Don't really want to though. I could send him stuff. Wonder if that's ever been used. Probably not. For autograph requests. Who the fuck wants an autograph from Jolie and Palmer? Okay, I think that's it. I think we've explored all there is to see of this website. Um, I'll be honest, this website is uh, pretty shit. There's much more entertaining stuff on the internet than this. I'm actually genuinely curious if anyone's ever bought one of these. But yeah guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, remember to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new in here. I also want to say quickly, thank you for 100 subscribers. Uh, I, I realised I hadn't actually addressed it yet. So thank you for that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And see ya.